Hi guys and welcome to another video. I've just received something in the post that I wanted to show you all. It is a map. It's a distribution map of the genus Tritoris, showing all nine species and where they're found through Europe mainly, but um, also into parts of Asia. So basically it's a full global distribution map for the whole of the genus. And I thought it'd be a cool little video to uh, go through the map and talk about the different species and where they're found in the wild. So the first thing that stands out is of course that massive splash of red across most of the map. That is Tritorus cristatus, the great crested newt, also known as the northern crested newt. It has the greatest distribution of all the Tritorus species across much of northern Europe, ranging from Great Britain and France in the west, uh, across the Russian Federation in the east. In the UK, it is a bit patchy in its distribution. Uh, it's missing from probably all of Cornwall, much of Wales, uh, much of Scotland, as you can see there. Looking at France, you can see that Tritoris cristatus is sympatric with Tritoris mamaratus. Uh, that means that the two species are occurring alongside each other. The hybrid form is known as Tritoris blasii or blasii. It's a double I, so to me that is blasi I, should be the correct pronunciation. In either case, you'll notice that Tritorus blasi I doesn't occur on this distribution map because it is not classed as a valid taxon. It is purely a hybrid between two different species. So we've touched on Tritorus mamaratus already. That is the marbled newt, also known as the northern marbled newt. If we follow on then from this area in northern France where the marble newt is sympatric with the great crested newt and we move down into the south of France where the great crested newt Tritoris cristatus is no longer found uh, we have Tritoris marmoratus from the south of France down into northern Spain and northern Portugal. Moving into the south of Portugal and the south of Spain, we have the southern marble newt, also known as the pygmy marble newt, Tritoris pygmaeus. Interesting fact about Tritoris pygmaeus is it's actually one of only two Tritoris species which is classed by the IUCN as near threatened. In the UK particularly, we often hear people saying that the great crested newt is an extremely rare or endangered species. Uh, although it has a somewhat patchy distribution in the UK, uh, it is classed as a species of least concern by the IUCN. As you can see, it does have a massive distribution throughout much of Northern Europe. The only other Tritorus species which is classed as near threatened by the IUCN is Tritorus debrogicus, the Danube crested newt. Tritorus debrogicus has the smallest distribution range of all of the crested newts. Uh, its distribution is also fragmented. Um, it is cut across the middle by Tritorus cristatus. The greater part of the distribution of Tritorus debrogicus lies in Hungary in the west, down into Croatia and parts of northern Serbia. Then the second eastern population is found in southern and eastern Romania and along the northern tip of Bulgaria. Moving into Italy, we have Tritorus carnifex, commonly known as the Italian crested newt or also the Alpine crested newt. As well as Italy, this species is also found to the east in southeastern Austria, Slovenia, parts of uh, Western Croatia, Northern Bosnia. And there is currently some research going on which may in the future separate Tritorus carnifex into two different species. That split, if it does go ahead and is accepted by the scientific community, is likely to be placed just around the northeastern region of Italy and will essentially separate uh, the majority of the Italian carnifex from the eastern range of the species. Now, when the species Tritorus carnifex was first described, uh, the type locality, that is the original specimen that was used uh, when giving a description of the species Tritorus carnifex, uh, the type locality was Vienna, Austria. So that means that if the species is split into two, 
uh, the main Italian animals will be the ones which are given a new species name and the animals from Austria and surrounding eastern parts of the range will retain the name Tritorus carnifex. No doubt that will cause a ton of confusion for people, particularly in the UK, where we commonly call Tritorus carnifex the Italian crested newt. I, I believe that throughout much of Europe, the vernacular name of the alpine crested newt is the preferred name. We then come to Tritorus macedonicus, the Macedonian crested newt, which has a range extending from northern Greece up through Albania, western Macedonia, Kosovo, uh, northern Serbia and eastern parts of Bosnia. Tritorus macedonicus was originally described as part of the Tritorus carolinii group. It was later thought to be part of the Tritorus carnifex species and it wasn't until 2007 that it was actually elevated to a species rank of its own. As we move to eastern parts of Macedonia, we find a different species, Tritorus Ivan Bereshi, the Balkan crested newt, extending from Macedonia through most of Bulgaria, down into uh, northeastern Greece and parts of western Turkey. Tritorus Ivan Bereshi is another species which was originally thought to be part of the Tritorus carolinii group. In fact, it wasn't separated from the carolinii group until 2012. There was then another split which occurred in 2016, which saw the discovery of a new species, Tritorus anatolicus, that had been previously hidden within the Tritorus Ivan Bereshi group. Tritorus anatolicus, the Anatolian crested newt, is actually an Asian species, so it's found along the northern edge of Asian Turkey. Lastly then is the species which maintained the name Tritorus carolinii when these splits occurred, that is the southern crested newt or Persian crested newt. Tritorus carolinii is found from the south of Russia through Georgia, and parts of Azerbaijan and Iran. There's also a small population at the southern tip of the Ukraine, so the species distribution is fragmented into three separate groups altogether. You often hear people in the newt keeping hobby talking about the locality of species which they keep, and I think to a lot of beginners, they don't really see the relevance of this. They don't see why it's important. But when we look at some of these splits that have occurred in these species, as we uh, have advances in DNA technology and more and more people are looking into these species, it is leading to the discovery of what's known as cryptic species. So species that were perhaps always, or, or animals that were always known to have existed in these areas, uh, but nobody realised that they were in fact separate species uh, from others that are known to science. Much of this research is being carried out by Ben Wheelstra, and I would just like to say thank you to Ben for sending me a high-resolution image of this distribution map so that I was able to have it printed out online by Vistaprint, and I will shortly be hanging that poster on my newt room wall. Thank you to anyone who has stuck with me through this video, as I know it is a bit more technical than our normal content, but hopefully it has given you a bit of an insight into the distribution of Tritora species and also the importance of recording locality when breeding newt species in captivity. And if any of you are Latin scholars or taxonomists and you want to point out that I've pronounced any binomial names incorrectly, then uh, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, it's not my expert area. <laughs> Neither is geography, to be honest. So if I've made any errors, then please do point them out in the comments. Other than that, thank you again for watching and I'll see you all again in the next video.